Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Geek Easy. Today, excuse my room, we're going to be doing a review of Heroes Time Spider-Man Far From Home suit. I absolutely love this suit. It was tailored to fit me, and it fits me like a glove. Absolutely amazing. I am still so impressed with this. My only complaint with it Actually, I have a couple complaints, but I'll go over that because that's my own fault. Um, one, getting it on. I decided to go with the U-zipper, which goes around the back rather than rather than it straight down straight down the back. Um, let me flip this over and I'll show you. I thought it would be easier to get on and maybe it would look better. And it definitely, I believe, looks better because, as you can see... You get in this way, so you got to put your legs in, and then the arms, and then you have to pull this over your head. The problem with that is I feel it, I can feel it start to loosen and rip around the sides here. So I have to be very, very careful when putting it on. I have to crunch this whole thing up, and I have to put it on my shoulders and then pull it over, and when I'm taking it off, I have to take it off my shoulders first. Almost like when women take off their dresses, they have to take that off first. Um, but I still absolutely love this suit. Uh, it's I got all the essentials in it. I got the extra thick uh, spandex that you can do. The stitching is incredible. This suit... Um, Again, I got from Heroes Time. It was recommended. I was wondering where I could get a good suit without breaking the bank. And my good buddy, Zach, uh, look him up, Zach Attack Cosplay on Facebook. Thank you, Zach. Um, uh, he recommended me going to Heroes Time or another nether place. And I decided to go with Heroes Time, and I'm not disappointed. I got all the essentials. I got the shoes built into it which did an incredible job it's not only glued on there but it's also sewn on around here as well and i've got zippers in the feet i'm glad i did that because if i didn't i'd probably never be able to get these shoes on uh that's because as you can see they fold down in they are chinese shoes and they fold in, so when I put my feet in, my feet just want to go on top of the shoe rather than into the shoe. They're incredibly comfortable, even though they're basically a sole um, with no real padding, but it definitely helps the look of being Spider-Man. Uh, I've also got zippers on the arms as well because this suit... I can't use my phone when I'm in it, so I like to be able to take my hand out of the sleeve and be able to use that. Uh, on the other side here, I, d I did add the raised logo, at least the body and the head. I didn't do the, the legs of the spiders here, but that's okay. Um, my other complaint was I wish I had... The leather straps or whatever they are on right here because in the movie these actually are separate pieces there and on his arms there. Um, Heroes Time does now do that kind of stuff with their suits. It's a little more expensive and I wish I waited about three weeks or so to get that myself. Um, but again... I'm not disappointed with this suit at all. Uh, I also put on these web shooters. I got these. You can see them right here. I got those on uh, Etsy. Both of these came together, the web shoots and the spider. Um, like I said, this thing fits like a absolute glove. It is amazing. There's a picture of me in the suit at Megacon taken by The Project. Look them up on uh, Facebook and Instagram. They are the best. And um, Meg is one of my 
uh, favorite photographers. Uh, she didn't take these. She was going to, but she got busy. She's mostly an editor. I'll post a link to her uh, Instagram down below. Check her out. She's awesome. And I'll post the project down below as well. Um, yeah, uh, this suit, again... I can't say uh, I can't say it enough. I love this suit. It blows everyone away, and um, I feel like Spider-Man when I'm in the suit. It's it's not just a Halloween costume. It's probably the best spandex suit I own, and I own a couple of them, including a uh, Red Ranger suit by Sushia, who doesn't make suits anymore. And I guess I was one of the lucky ones to actually get. An actual suit from him suit helmet gloves everything uh, you can see the helmet right there I don't want to pick it up because it is broken right around here maybe I'll do a video on that another time I have it on my old channel did a review I was happy with the suit but again uh, spider-man uh, far from home suit the printing is unbelievable on this uh, takes great pictures uh, I want to do one in the city go downtown and take some pictures with it. Uh, also, if you're going to wear spandex, guys, I know you hear it all the time, all the time, but you need to. You need to wear a dance belt. I know, showing underwear on, the in, on Instagram or YouTube, gross, but wear a dance belt. It will save you in embarrassment for you and the other people that have to look at you because when you're not wearing a dance belt focal points man focal points everything points to right there at the crotch and if you're hanging out we don't want to see where how you're hanging or what you're hanging with nobody does um especially if you're meeting celebrities i got to meet Mike Coulter, a.k.a. Luke Cage at Megacon, uh, wearing my Spider-Man suit. Look how good that fits. And, of course, dance belt. Alright, guys. It's a short video, short review. I might do a longer review. I have to use my phone because my computer, uh, well, shit the bit. Uh, it restarts about every 30 seconds. Otherwise, I would actually edit this video. Excuse me. But please, like, subscribe. Uh, hit that notification button if you want to see more videos. I have a lot of content coming, including a sports show. I don't know if you're interested in that, but geeks love sports too. Um, DIYs and other great content, including skits. All right, guys, you have a good one. I'm out. Peace.